So just, um, <laughs> I've literally no idea what's gonna happen here. So just to say, I'm just gonna try and. <laughs> <laughs> and here are my golf clubs, an absolute specimen of a bag. The very best clubs that money can buy, all fitted to me and my game. And here, only a short distance away, we have a bag of Wilson Ultra HDs, which I got in a box set, bag included, for 300 pounds. The bag just to my right is worth 3,000. So these clubs are 10% the price of these. And in this video, we're gonna be putting them head to head to see what differences there actually are, because is there really 2,700 pounds worth of difference between these and these. Let's start off with the big stick, the Sim 2 driver, which at retail is gonna cost you 449 pounds, an absolute beast of a driver. By the way, the price of my bag does not include the aftermarket grips that I fitted, and these grips, I think they're about 15 quid each as well. Ping G45 LST, which would set you back 285 pounds. The new tailor-made P790 UDI, which if I'm gonna be completely honest, is just in the bag, I don't even know how much that costs. My newly fitted irons of the T100S, 1,100 pounds from Fort Pitching Wedge. Three Adele wedges at 180 pounds a piece. I've got the 50, the 54, and the 58. David, how much is that for three? 540 pounds. The sick arm lock, the Bryson Shambo LA Golf Shaft, which is gonna cost you 825 pounds. No, that is not a misprint. So that is my full bag. Now we got this full set of Wilsons. It came in a beautiful cardboard box from Decathlon, which is a big sports store. We've got a driver, a three wood and a five hybrid. And then the irons is six to sandwich. We also have this exceptionally cheap looking putter, but it's got a flat surface. So we should be able to roll some putts. I would say the most impressive thing about this is the bag was included. Oh, that's a good bag. Like you'd have that bag, wouldn't you? How much you pay for that bag, do you think? If you walked into a shop? Under quid. You say you're under quid for that? Yeah, I'd say so. Well, strike wise is all right. It's just a long way left though. It's interesting though, because these shafts, these uh, men's shafts, I will not classify them in the realms of stiff. This is a, a soft, regular graphite. There's no weight kind of printed on them. So I don't know the exacts, but I would put them at a very light. I'm going to say, 50 grams, I would predict. Club head is bulky. On the range, I tested these irons pretty thoroughly and found some unfortunate things happening when I was striking them. The biggest difference I found was front to back dispersion. Now, what that means is the bad strikes were going nowhere near as far as the good strikes. Now, that's a big, big issue if you want to compare irons. With the regular shaft on the driver and the way that that driver head performed, it wasn't comparable to my current tailor-made. An average carry of 249 yards running out to 270, with the ball speed down at 155. Looks-wise, the tailor-made was better in every single category. Feel-wise, my clubs were better in every single category. Unfortunately, this was not a fair fight with the data. So we're out of the back nine here at Yaslinks. Very very excited about this matchup. I really do hope my clubs win this battle. We're gonna go match play. And off this first tee, it's only 350 yards. Wind's kind of slightly into. I did drive this green the other day, <laughs> but there's bunkers everywhere. And into wind, it's not gonna get anywhere close. So three wood of my clubs and driver of the Wilsons. Good luck, good luck, play well. Shake hands, shake hands. Vice and Titleist, which one's which guys? Titleist mine, Pro Plus Wilson. We'll give Wilson the honor. Absolute bullet down the left-hand side of the fairway. Was that me? Did that just sound really good? It sounded great. Yeah. That sounded really good, didn't it? Very tinny, wasn't it? But it was all right, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll make it easy on the buggy, aren't I? They are, <laughs> they are next to each other. <laughs> Round one goes to Wilson, because that is the ping three wood. And up here on the hill is the Wilson. 155. 150 away from the pin. Psychological advantage is in Wilson's court. <laughs> Underneath the plane, it's left of the green, I th think. 
Wasn't the best strike in the world. Oh, I held off so much on that. Yeah, front of the green, I was like, really? I do need to remember that these Wilson clubs are not gonna go as far. So I might have to take maybe one more. First put under pressure with this bad boy. Oh my God, that hit that so far out of the heel. Almost missed that. Switching, like, <laughs> switching in between an arm lock and this might be a bit tricky today. How was that? Dad, <laughs> how was that, miss? It's an absolutely brutal pin position. So two putts for it. Just a terrible, terrible first putt. Oh, I didn't get it far enough left. Wow. That is two absolutely pants putt in a row. Damn. So, theoretically, this is where the uh, £3,000 set should have an advantage. 542 yard par five, which if I get a good drive away, I would back myself to reach. It might have to be driver, driver off the deck for the Wilsons if there was any chance at all. Oh, cut hard, cut hard. Don't know, I think there's a gap there, but if it's not in the gap, it's gonna be in some thick, thick bundai, that. That's a bomb. That was a good one. God, I think I might have reached those bunkers, actually. Just didn't need too far. Uh, Wilson, 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 Wilson. That is a lost ball, and YouTube rules state that I can't be asked going back to the tee, and therefore, it's a loss of hole. Two up with my sticks. It's about time that Wilson's made a bit of a comeback. Oh, yeah. That is perfecto mundo. Oh, no, it's a lefty again. Oh, I saw that one bounce, actually. It's like this men's flex shaft might not be quite stiff enough. This is some kind of strange grass going on here, but that is literally sat on top of it. The bottom of the grass is there, right. Oh my God, struck it. Perfect lie for me, that. 115. Time to pull a nice full Adele shot out. Kira's up there, so there's a bit of pressure on. That looked amazing. Zero reaction from Kieran, so I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I'm gonna have to try and play a flop shot with this Ultra HD, um, pitching onto a down slope. Oh, this is, uh, this is not fun. My only saving grace is it is on top of the rough a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure I could have done much better with that. I mean, I don't even know what the loft of this sandwich is. I'm guessing it's about 55, 56, but it's not, um, one takes design for adaptability around the green. Well, this is to go three up. An absolute spanking. Oh. Blasted it through. Blasted it through the break. Oh. Well, three up. Absolute trouncing so far. Absolutely stunning looking par three, this one. 123, so the pins more towards the back. This is just like a little knockdown wedge. Just try to keep the spin off it after that last green. It's a great strike, it's a bit left. Spin. Oh, it's just a pull, opening. Have an opening for Mr. Wilson. Oh no. <laughs> Have you ever seen two more distinctly average goal shots in your entire life? Let's have a roll downhill left to right with my set here. Ooh. It's falling apart mentally, physically. Shut up. Oh, how did that not break in? Pete, is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. And literally didn't listen to yourself. I literally didn't listen to myself. Completely ignoring my own advice. Wilson claws one back, not via the greatness of itself, but via the absolute travesty of my own play.
Right, 16th and oh my, oh my, oh my. What do you wanna see when you've been hitting it left all day? Not that, really not that. So still two up to the three grand clubs, four iron layup just to the right. It's 360 yards away. You know, on another day I might go for it. But four iron straight at the Ferrari badge. Oh, please fly. Oh, please fly. Well, it's not gone in the water, but it's in like the thick rough over that bunker. Look at the amount of fairways to the right hand side. <laughs> That's the best shot of the day, I think. Oh, Wilson's are back. I must be honest, I've been saying to the lads, like these Wilson clubs on the course, like the data, some of it was okay, but honestly on the course, it felt horrible. Like really just every bit a cheap set of clubs out here, unfortunately. But now, as soon as the camera's on again, poof, Come on, just trust in the Wilson. Just believe. 166. Oh, sliced it. Kick off the bank. Please be there. Just want to see it coming to view. I have no idea what these are. Like, what are these? They're so thick. Have you ever had, like, udon noodles? Yeah. They feel like udon noodles. Like, they're that thickness, that consistency. I've literally no idea what's going to happen here. So, just to say, I'm just going to try and... <laughs> It's the thing with udon noodles as well. They're very slippy. I always find. Right, seven. I'm just gonna chop it out. <laughs> oh my god. Go on. Not that bad in the end. Right, well, let's go see what's happened to Wilson. Bloody hell. An absolute roller coaster to rival anything that's in Ferrari world. This. That is so far short. Oh, I've definitely, uh, I've definitely hit the wall here. Go. Just a shocking first put, really, wasn't it? So, what's that? One. Two, three, four, five, six. As long as I don't blade this chip from Wilson, this is going to be one up with two to play. I'll concede myself that one because I don't believe I'll three put. So 176 is a six iron. Oh, it might be that five hybrid because I don't think the Wilson six is going to get there. Oh, I'm slicing it now. I think these might be possibly the worst feeling irons. I think I may be ever at. Definitely not going to be going in the bag. That is the revelation I can make for today. This is the most plugged lie I've ever seen in my life. Ball is level with my knees. I've got this sandwich to try and get it out. All right, guys, you know what? That's it. These Wilson clubs are every bit worth their 300 quid. But to be honest, just do yourself a favor. Get yourself on a nice second-hand website like Golf Bidder. Spend that money a little bit more wisely because these are just, the pointless. As soon as you get any level of better at golf, you're just not gonna want them. Like you're gonna want something better.